All right, so we're doing some emails. I've already kind of copied it from here. And then if you need to on this prospecting list, instead of company city, you could just put their name here for all I care. Cause I, well, actually do it on company state. So let's just do here. We can do owner name. And one thing you could do is once you get like 20 or 30 ready, um, then you could go and just go bam, 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 you know, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, instead of like doing one at a time. Does that make sense? So here, let me show you real quick. Okay. So we don't have the owner's name yet, right? So when we go to this website, you could <coughs> go to the contact us and I don't really see you know, an owner's name, which is fine. So then we could just go to low price on the bus. Low price on the bus. Can you tell I'm tired? Wow. No, I'll just go here. It's so out. Uh what you're trying to me is after I found all of their, in, their information, then I would go and send the email. Yes. So, like, if you if you get ten or you know ten, fifteen in a row, I've looked at a couple of these. These red ones are kind of not great. And um, one thing, as you're looking for the owner's name, you can kind of if you look at the name and it's like Cassidy Glassing, This one to me might not be. Um, I don't know if this is an auto glass company or just a regular glass store. Windshield, windshield. So this one, we know we're good. So that's fine on that one. But then if you're looking for low price auto glass, you could say, here's the name right here. Okay. Douglas is a flow. If you do owner, BBB, CEO, like if you look kind of each one up real quick, if you don't find it, that's fine. And for the most part, this Tom's list is the only one that's going to really have that. So let's go back up to here. Put Douglas, and then, so then, okay, yeah, there's, you found Douglas. So you could say Douglas, you could take out the last name. I don't like last names personally. Help multiple auto glass, and maybe I need to change that right there and take it out anyway. I might fix that so you don't have to take it out. But then, hey, like this is my picture, this is my image, this is my phone, and it just tells them, you know, reply to yes, and I'll send you a video and an ebook I wrote on SEO for your auto glass company. And then you just can hit send schedule, and we're gonna say tomorrow morning. I'm going to do tomorrow morning at 9 instead of 8. Bam, we got one. And then all you need to do is, <coughs> I like to do it like this because then I really know what I've done. Because I can come back here tomorrow if I got an email and I could just look up the email that they have. So as you're searching for these there's two things that you're going to have to search for. You can kind of see the two empty ones is the email and then the owner's name. But as you're looking for them, like this one right here, you can do here, Georgia. Okay. So look, we got an email right here. Easy. Oops. Oh, I already got that. Um, and then we can do, what's this place called here? Express Auto Glass Windshield. That's funny. I want to say this one, like you might have to look. But 
So, I mean, like, you're going to have a little bit of data entry, not too much, not especially compared to what you had before with the name, address, phone yeah. number, the, you know. Um, one thing you could always look here is if, so this is Barry from your Windy Hill site. Oh. David and Tammy. Okay. So I would probably say this David and Tammy. So okay. you could just copy their name, put it right here, and then the next email, like if, and this is something I do too, so like the sense items, instead of like going back to the cold email script, oops, I guess it's in the drafts, sorry, my bad. I just copy this whole thing. Copy. Usually there's like a send button right there. Too tired to tell. <laughs> there it is, new one. Oh, what's going on? It's so slow. But you can kind of see what I'm saying, right? Like, yeah. get get your data up or you know if this takes you three or four hours to get 200 people because this has i think 2000 mm. now here's the other thing this was like a, a crawled um website so you might not be able to find their owner names if you can't find an owner name just put in like Hey, Lo Lewis Auto Glass. Okay, that's a good name. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's just kind of how, like, and here's the, so here's a few things that you might want to just take into consideration, like extreme glass tinting. If it's more of a glass tinting company as opposed to an auto glass company, just, you could see all these red ones that I went through. You don't have to worry about those. Okay. I just want auto glass companies. Window tinting. So this is like, this isn't even, this isn't even auto. This is like everything tinting. So instead here, I just changed the, the wording to red. If you want to do it this way to red, like whatever you feel like that helps you the most. Because this tab's going to be yours. So, okay, so I just work on the Tom list. Okay. Yeah, on the Tom list. Let's start with this. Um, okay. We might be getting into these ones later, like after you've contacted them, because um, Fel's already done a lot of the legwork. So it's like, oh, I already have, you know, good to go mobile auto glass repair. I have the email, and we don't know the owner's name but we already have Mount Baker right here. So like, and if we double contact them, it's not like I care if I cold call them and you cold email them. You know, if one didn't work, then the other did, then hey, that's fine too. So okay. when we do that though, what I might do along those lines is like, if we are duplicating this, because then this could be like, we could do, um, email so that I still have the cold call list and then you have the cold email list type of thing so that we have a different does that make sense yeah let's start with this right here though because if I get a respond with a yes to my email then I know I need to go make them screencast and send it back to them and then I'll follow up but then this is just a way for me to get in front of more companies so that we could have more business to, uh, going. Yeah. Do you have any questions for this? Uh, the only question I have is, is the time set on your outlook, is your time right? 